Hello and welcome, myself Krishna Singh. In the series of mycology, today we will learn about the lab findings and all tests for fungi. Okay, so the first step is that sample collection. Okay, the first step is sample collection, depend on the site. Example, like for skin scraping. Hair, nails, sputum, etc. We have different species for different site. So, sample collection from different sites. Like for systemic examination for systemic fungi, we have to collect the blood. And for the cryptococcal meningitis, we have to collect the CSF. What CSF? Okay. The first topic in left finding is microscopy. Okay. In microscopy, we what we do? We collect the sample. And in the sample, we add 10% KOH. And that KOH will digest the keratin material. Keratin digestion. And the hyphae become clear. Clear fungal hyphae will be observed, like this you can see in the diagram. Okay, and that is the technique is called a wet mount. For hair and nails, we have to take the KOH concentration is 20 to 40 percent because the hair and nails take more time to digest. The 10% KOH for skin. Okay, the second one is gram staining. Gram staining. Okay. Uh, the fungi, these fungi show a positive gram staining findings. Positive, positive stain of budding yeast like cells. Okay. And this is best for yeast and yeast like fungi. Gram staining is best for yeast and yeast like fungi. Now you can see here in the diagram that the gram stain, fungi, hyphae. Okay, the third one in microscope is India ink or nigrosin stain. That is a, a negative stain. Negative stain for capsule of cryptococcus and neoformans. It stain the capsule of cryptococcus neoformans, like example. Okay, cryptococcus neoformans. You can see in a picture. And the fourth one in microscopy is calcoflower white stain. Calcoflower white stain. And this is a most sensitive stain in all other staining techniques. More sensitive than other stains. Actually, that stain binds to cellulose. It binds to cellulose and chitin of fungal cell wall. Okay, that stain binds to cellulose and chitin of fungal cell wall. Then, in a UV exposure, okay, UV light exposure. That produce fluorescence. Produce fluorescence. Okay. Now the fifth one in microscopy is histopathological stain. Histopathological stain. Okay. And this is useful to detecting. This is useful. To detecting fungi causing deep mycosis okay for deep fungi deep uh, mycosis causing fungi okay we use that histopathological stain and the example of histopathological stain first is past stain past means periodic periodic 
acid shift test okay that is a i think there is a recommended stain for fungi okay only stain the living fungi past stain okay and past positive fungi shows a magenta or deep pink color but nucleus shows blue color okay but nucleus show the blue color rest of the fungi show magenta and pink color the most important thing is here recommended stain for fungi recommended stain for fungi The second one in histopathological stain is GMS stain. GMS that is Gomori or Grokov, Grokots or Gridley, Methamine silver. Gomori, Grokots, Gridley, Methamine silver stain. That stain is uh, first. Uh, Recommended stain is past stain, then after the past stain, it is an alternative of past stain. And stain that stain uh, stains the polysaccharide part of cell wall. Okay, and it can stain both living and dead fungi. It is a benefit. Beneficial thing is here, they can stain living as well as dead things. Okay, a stain polysaccharide part of cell wall, and a fungi color is black, and background is pale yellow. Okay, background color seems to be a pale yellow. You can see in a picture, pale yellow. Okay. The third one in histopathological stain is Musi Carmen stain. Musi Carmen stain. Musi Carmen stain is a stain. It stain the carminophilic cell wall of Cryptococcus. Carminophilic cell wall of Cryptococcus. And Cryptococcus and Rhinosporidium. What Rhinosporidium? And the fourth one in histopathological stain is Mason Fontana stain. What Mason? Mason Mason Fontana stain. That stain stain the pigment pigmented fungi. Okay. That like fluid fungi or pigmented fungi. That stain is useful only for pigmented fungi. And after four uh, histopathological stain, now the next one is L P C B. That is lactophenol cotton blue. Lactophenol cotton blue after histopathological stains. Lactophenol cotton blue. That stain is used to study fungal morphology after culture okay you should study a fungal morphology and what's the contain it contains four things first is phenol phenol is for disinfectant phenol work here is a disinfectant and the second one is lactic acid lactic acid preserve morphology of fungi and third one is glycerol glycerol that prevent drying of fungi okay prevent drying and the fourth one is cotton blue cotton blue cotton blue it is stain fungal element blue that blue color you can see here due to the cotton blue that is a main ink or stain okay now we have completed the culture not cultures sorry now we have completed the microscopy the second thing is culture Culture in lab finding culture is the most important thing. I think gold standard. Culture is for isolation and correct identification. Okay, culture is for isolation and correct identification. We do a culture, and uh, for culture we require a culture media. So, what are the culture medias that are required for fungal growth? First culture media is SDA. Sabrots, dextrose, agar. Okay, that is a most common used culture media for fungi. Sabrots, dextrose, agar. Most commonly used culture media, and it contains two things. 
that is pepped on one percent two thing first one is pepped on one percent and second is dextrose four percent is and its ph is five point four to five point six okay and we can add here uh, we can also uh, we have to add some antibiotics like gentamicin or chloramphenicol chloramphenicol to inhibit the bacterial growth okay to inhibit the bacterial growth and second thing we add here is cyclohexamide cyclohexamide that prevent the unwanted saprophytic fungi growth of unwanted saprophytic fungi okay the next culture media is neutral sda cerebral dextrose agar that's also called as Ammons media, Ammons modification, Ammons, Ammons, Ammons modification, Ammons modification. That is also called Ammons modification. And have one percent neopentin and two percent dextrose. Dextrose that is two percent. And pH is seven point two. And the third culture media is corn meal agar. Or rice starch agar, rice starch agar. Okay. Actually, they are uh, what the special thing is here. They are nutritionally deficient media. Nutritionally deficient media. The nutritionally deficient media is used for used for stimulation of chlamydospora. Okay. That stimulates the chlamydophore formation, okay? Chlamydospora. And fourth one is BHI agar, brain heart infusion agar. Brain heart infusion agar. Oh, brain heart red. Brain heart infusion agar. That is Andrich media, okay? It is Andrich media. And it is for fastidious fungi, for fastidious fungi like cryptococcus and histoplasma. Cryptococcus and histoplasma. And the next is fifth one Niger seed agar. Niger seed agar and bird seed agar bird seed agar okay there is a special media for selective growth for selective growth of cryptococcus we prefer that niger seed agar or bird seed agar for cryptococcus and the sixth one is chrome agar chrome agar actually one thing you have to memorize only one thing is here that chrome agar is used for candida candida okay the sixth one is the back docs agar for aspergillus. The back docs agar, okay, for aspergillus. And the next thing is here the conditions. Conditions, conditions for the culture. First one is temperature. Temperature should be 25 to 30 degrees Celsius, but for dimorphic, that is dimorphic fungi can also grow on uh, 25 or 37 degrees Celsius, both temperature. Second one is biological oxygen demand incubators. You have to proper you have to give a proper supply of oxygen. And third one is incubation time. Incubation time of fungi generally is two to three weeks. And fourth one is add some antibiotics to prevent bacterial growth that is a four condition required for culture of fungi we have learned about the two things for laboratory findings first through microscopy second is culture and third is here immunological methods third one is immun immunological methods in immunological methods we have three things three things to do antibody detection antibody de detection by ELISA and CFT, CFT, complement fixation test. 
and second thing is here and second thing is antigen detection antigen detection by latex agglutination test for cryptococcal antigen from csf and third thing is immunohistochemistry which help to which help to find the antigen by fluorescent tagged antibody the fourth one is fungal metabolite detection okay fourth fourth thing fungal metabolite detection fungal metabolite detection fourth thing is fungal met metabolite detection by gas liquid chromatography by gas liquid chromatography and fifth is test to demonstrate delayed hypersensitivity okay test to demonstrate delayed hypersensitivity for histoplasma blastomyces coccidia coccidioid paracoccidioid dermatophyte orothrix candida and last and sixth method in lab findings is molecular method the most important and everyone's favorite molecular method is pcr polymerase chain reaction thank you guys we end up here for part second of laboratory findings and staining of fungi <laughs>